Today on the 5 Minute Expat News Brief, we're talking about new requirements for travelers to Canada to obtain a negative COVID-19 test three days before arriving. Welcome to the Canadian Expat. Here we discuss a few items that we think are relevant to Canadians living abroad. If you are living outside of Canada, are considering moving abroad, or are on your way back, our goal is to get you bits and bytes of information that will prove to be useful and interesting. To make sure that you know when we upload a new video, hit the subscribe button and that little bell so that you get notifications. Canada will soon require arriving travelers to obtain a negative COVID-19 test three days before arriving. The test must be a PCR test, which is generally considered the most effective coronavirus test. One thing to note is that this is not currently a requirement as of December 30th, but an announcement will be made soon. This announcement could be made at any time, so if you're planning to come to Canada, we are advising that you plan to get a PCR test done and obtain verification. Remember, there is still a requirement to submit your travel plans through the Can Arrive app. You can find out more information about that here. In addition, there will be more border officials at Canada's ports of entry to ensure that those arriving understand the new rules. This is according to Public Health Minister Bill Blair, who emphasized that this does not replace the 14-day quarantine requirement. The details are still being finalized and more information is expected to be available next week. It is still required by law that all those arriving in Canada must quarantine for 14 days. This means that they must stay indoors at all times and have a plan on how they'll obtain groceries, food and medicine, and those who break the rules may face up to six months in prison or up to $750,000 in fines. However, some travelers may be allowed to break quarantine if they obtain approval from the government prior to traveling to Canada. Usually this is for compassionate reasons such as attending a funeral or spending time with a loved one during their last moments. To help with planning, we have a short checklist that you can download in the description. Once again, it will benefit the channel and ensure that we're able to continue doing this if you hit that like button. Thanks for watching. Stay safe.